Hello and welcome to Arena episode whatever number I think 11. Thank you for smelling me now. <laughs> well, not smelling me, but watching me. But today I am going to pass through this door. Unless I get backstabbed by spiders. But first I need to increase frame rate. Good. Frame rate increased. <coughs> I remember today that for guessing wrong at the door, there were spiders supposed to attack me. They did not. They probably will attack me when I go back. But for now... I save here. Even though I just loaded a save, I know. Map, so this. Does detail increase visual distance? No, it doesn't appear so. Perhaps it does. Uh, no, visual distance is, is dependent on light. Uh, light is only from these sconces. I'll try resting. Hopefully, I don't die. Well, that was somewhat counterproductive. Let's try again. <laughs> well, I can't trust because I'd be killed. I need to balance my frame rate. Too high and enemies have advantage. Too low and it's annoying. This skeleton has nothing of value. This skeleton has nothing usable either. Oh, these stairs. Hopefully I can rest on them. I could actually rest on these stairs. Yes, stairs and bridges are usually safe, but just things next to the ground are not. Who had the bright idea of filling the Fangler with lava? Well, not lava. Technically it's magma since it's underground. There is something terrible behind this door. I can hear it. A simple, <clears throat> a simple question for thee. What is neither fish nor flesh, feather nor bone, but still has fingers and thumb of its own? What is thy answer, mortal? Well, this one is easy. Glove. It's... Uh, not fish nor flesh, though it can be skin, a.e. leather. It usually is, doesn't have, it can't have bones and usually doesn't uh, include feathers. But it has fingers and a thumb.
What just happened? Why did I just explode? Or was it this hellhound that exploded me? Or the other hellhound who... Oh yeah, there were two hellhounds. One of them exploded himself and nearly killed me in it. The other just melee me. <laughs> Well, time to take this arrow. The first piece of the staff of chaos flashes once before turning to a dull piece of ebony in your hand. You can feel it perceptibly throbbing as if waiting to be connected to the other seven pieces. Hmm. Throbbing. Okay. Now let's get out of here before something ink eats me like a guru. West. I need to go west. That was just the door. I'll rest here. It should be safe. It seems that you are well chosen, Mathel. I see that you have won the first piece of the staff. That in and of itself is not a simple task. Tharn seems Tharn it seems is not as concerned with you as I had thought he would be. Perhaps he thinks you dead or lost in the sewers from which you escaped. That is well, without a space, for I have discovered the second piece's location. There was once a great maze built by uh, Archmagus Shalidor. By the way, this guy owned a mirror <laughs> to guard what he called Glamodil, the elven term for the secret of life. I know not the location of the great maze. Well, the thing is, in later games, I am certain about Morrowind. There is a spell called Shalidor's Mirror, which is reflect spell. Well, continuing. She doesn't know the location of the Great Maze, which was called the Labyrinthian. But somewhere in its twisted corridors lies the second piece of the Staff of Chaos. Shalidor, according to to the old texts, made his home in the fortress of ice. He would not have built the labyrinthian far from his home. I would search the north for such a place. I wish you well on your journey. Mm. And I am here. Time to get out of here. Preferably without getting eaten by spiders, trolls, or gurus. Or gruesome trolls. Uh, what was that? Run, I must, from the spiders! I am paralyzed. I need free action. I was not fast enough.
this time I am really paralyzed. I don't like getting paralyzed uh, spiders. Especially in a way that prevents that can't what? Be cured with free action. Die. Oh, they have died. <laughs> okay, five points I have. Hmm. Again, five points. Endurance, nope. Agility. Possibly strength. Nope. Will power. Yes. Perception. No, that's personality. Nope. So I will spend one on each of those stats, I guess. Now I need to get away from here. And I am running through the mine shafts because they are they tend to be safer than other people's shafts. Mineshaft D. Did I change mineshaft? Don't wail at me ghouls. I don't care about your ghoulish stories. From there I will go north. How many? I ran out of healing potions. You are a tool to, to confront me. Or, I mean a fool. And now you have paid the ultimate price. Even my I now servants go to fetch your mortal husk. You will serve me well through my years as emperor. Once I have made you undead. Perhaps I will even let you retain some of your memories. So that the price of your failure has meaning to you. Well, that's not a good ending, so let's try again. This time I will pull out the map immediately. So, I need to enter the tunnels as soon as possible. Not worry about the spiders. I can heal in the tunnels, but I do not want to run out of potions. 
Hmm. I know spiders. I know. <sighs> Not having used the potions on the spiders. I should have enough to survive an encounter or two. Ow. Then again, it also means I did not gain a level. But a level is not worth my life. Or life Ericsson's life for that matter, but life Ericsson is not here. Like is this the correct end? Yes. So now I'll hit No. I cannot rest. Hmm. So I will heal. I will save. And then I will fight the monitors. Nothing usable. The next mine shaft is straight north. Mine shaft A, and I need to go north. Ah, there is an invisible obstruction here. So, what way should I go instead? Well, I need to go through there, huh? I hope this leads somewhere useful. That's an exit, yeah. Or I could continue on. Too bad I cannot move this map <sighs> it appears I will need to go through overland which is bad And this is unexplored territory, so there might be monsters. Ow! Like the one that just hit me. Skeleton, I do not want to become like you. I want to keep the flesh on my bones.
and level. But probably I n have no more potions. Potions were so weak. I have at least one more potion. I look how many I have. mark but I don't know what it does two two potions left and in the north so probably Skyrim the rim of the sky hmm I wonder where to go well, she said north, so I'll go to the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> or just to <the> Solitude. <laughs> I hope it's day. Good, it is. 15 days. It took me to reach. I look at the time. Hmm. So perhaps eight more minutes I will play this before I will end the episode. Ah, my sword needs to go away. Hello man. Control F. No, I don't want to unleash the mouse. Where is <sighs> Mage's Guild? Southwest. Where is nearest star? The Emperor's accountments. Or accountments it was, I think. This building. I smell it. No, I. Uh, the, I don't smell it, but these buildings usually are something useful. <laughs> so, I can't use plate. So I will sell it. You're not willing for 80? Wow! That's an expensive plate helm. I knew it was enchanted, but so expensive. I bet I can get 3000 for it. Or close at least. Now the bucklers. Can I get... I cannot. I can get more than seven for a buckler. Probably similar with the staves, well, staff and daggers. But even if I don't want to buy yet. 
Even if I only get one gold for a dagger, it's still one gold. Ten daggers are a day at the inn. Okay, I check my inventory and see how damaged my things are. No, slightly used, almost new, slightly used, slightly used, used, so I need new gauntlets. I am not going to run around with damaged equipment. Used, that's pro a problem since I don't think I can... I don't know if I can get a, a new silver broadsword, though a better broadsword would, would be, well, better. Almost new, 13 charges, minus 3 AR, minus 3 AR, AR which makes the bracelet mithril, I guess. What weapons do you have? Elven short sword, hmm. broad sword of lightning, short bow of paralyzation, but I can't afford that one. Steel short bow of luck, Ad adamantium tanto, and only 300 gold. I will check how good a tanto is relative to a broadsword. Because if uh, an adamantium tanto is better than a silver broadsword, I am totally getting that one. The other option is the broadsword of lightning with which I would shoot lightning, I suppose. And steel short bow of luck. Mm. I think that's a uh, oh. constant effect in this thing. Like I would, um, as long as I would have the short bow equipped, I would ha have plus ten luck. But luck, if it works like in later games, just increases everything slightly, which would be useful. I guess I'll take the short bow either way. No, not thousand. Uh, ten. Eight hundred eight. Not willing for eight oh eight. How about nine hundred? Huh? Okay, that means I will sell my old short bow. I also wanted new gauntlets. So I will buy gauntlets of leather. The war I can use Dwarven Helm... No, that's what I just sold. <sighs> I was getting confused. I need leather gauntlets. No, not 15. 13. Okay. 14 it is. Yes, while well, equipped, it does plus 10 to luck, but I want to see uh, UESP Arena Weapons.
base weapons. I know there was at some point already. Wait, is my mic who's frozen? Oh, it was on this thing. Okay, so broadsword does one to twelve, tanto does one to eight, but silver is plus zero, adamantium is plus four. So I'd go from one to twelve to 5 to 12 and it be lighter also it would deteriorate slower so yeah I'm going to buy that adamantium tanto But I'll try him for two fifty. I want it for two fifty. Hmm. Which means I get to sell my silver broadsword. I know it's a bit. I want eighteen for it. Okay, so back to inventory and equipping my Tanto. <sighs> Too bad I can't equip anything larger than a broadsword. Though if I got an ebony broadsword, I would be dealing 6 to 17 damage, which would be better. But adamantium tanto will do for now. It doesn't do more damage than what I had previously, but it does it more stably. Time to go southwest to the guild of the Magi, where they sell Magi sauce. So, where is the guild of mages or Magi? West, she said, which is there. Can I smell it on my map? I cannot. Hey lady, where is the guild of the Magi? Southwest. Is that the large building? This one? Probably. I just need to find the entrance. No entry, no exit. No, I just missed it. There was too much mist and I missed it. Yeah, there is no mist. Just snow. The Magis Guild is so omnipresent that all the arcane relics within seem to be covered in a thin shroud. It is an almost soundless chamber with only an occasional sigh from the pot of boiling liquid on the fire. Slowly, 
Play warm creeps back into your chilled body. Where is the pot? I see no pot. Are the wizards doing pot? <laughs> so, what magical items do you have? Hmm. <coughs> You have a mark of shielding. You have a mark of shielding. <laughs> if I remember correctly, shielding prevents all damage. Though I am not sure how powerful these things are. Arena magical items I need to find. So marks. Now I know <laughs> it costs 2400 but is it the shield spell magical effect create shield probably So, create shield. Summons an X health point shield between, between you and your foes. But uh, the point is, it uh, blocks uh, both magic and physical attacks apparently. So, pretty useful. But. What I wanted to do actually was identify things. So, once I identify these things, I may sell something. Mark of Wizard's Fire, that's just a damaging spell. Bracelet, probably material. Didn't I get a potion? as well or was it in a parallel timeline I guess it was in a parallel timeline so hey you are an equivalent aren't you you are and a bunny ammo left yes but for 25,000 gold! That's way too expensive. Do I even have an amulet though? I already have an ebony amulet. I don't need another one. But I think I'm already over time, so next time I will sell my Mark of Wizard's Fire and buy Mark of Shielding. I hope no one of you is a Mark of Shielding or Mark of Wizard's Fire, because you know, Mark is a name. Bye! Well. I will save before I quit. Then I'll buy you a bye. Bye bye. <laughs>